Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we get some awesome games and pretty much a stock flak 88. So yeah, let's begin with the non-existent armor. Armor is pretty terrible with 15 millimeters at max. This thing will only be a stop 762 and some 50 cals that might hit some deep angles. But other than that, any 50 cal and above will shred this vehicle to pieces. It might take them some time as the crew compartment is based on two places. You have the driver and the commander inside this hole. Which if a 50 cal pins frontally over here, it's not going to be penning in the rear. And if they shoot you around the turret, there's a lot of empty air, so shells and bullets are not going to spawn a lot. The crews are distant a little bit. Oftentimes, only one of these loaders are going to get killed from the first bullet. But if they shoot more, they're obviously going to get the second one. And for your gunner and your third loader, yes, a third loader, they sit far left on the turret. And they also sit a little bit downwards, which could save them frontally, but not from this side. And this thing still has some weak spots, such as holes in the turret, and also, yes, of course, very vulnerable to HE and artillery. So yeah, if you have the 7.62 machine gun, smaller or bigger, you can just shoot through this hole and potentially kill the gunner and the loader. So yeah, enough talking about the thing that doesn't exist, aka armor. And let's get to the gun. As the name says, it's a flag ADA. This gun has the same pen and the same good old high explosive shell from the Tiger 1. So yeah, penetration is around 150 millimeters at 10 meters, which is very good for this battering. But the secret to this shell is not its penetration, but its insane damage. 285.6 grams of TNT equivalent. That is pretty much 10 times the explosives as the Panzergranaten 39 shell, which you will find on Panzer IVs, Panzer Freeze, and some other tanks at this battering. So yeah, shell, pretty good, cannon, pretty good, armor is okay, but you would think that is the only good or negative thing about this vehicle. I'll tell you something very good about this vehicle, 5.5 second reload, yes. And this could go down to 5 seconds if you have an ace crew in this vehicle. But yeah, that's pretty much the last good thing about this tank, and I guess the last worst thing about this vehicle is it's gun depression, minus 3, it's pretty much nothing. And that is not minus 3 over here, that is minus 3 on the sides. So if you thought this was terrible with 0 degrees, especially being high, and even worse, if you peek your side, you expose this thing over here. Two huge ammo racks next to each other, and if one of the shells gets hit, the entire thing explodes. So yeah, that's enough with information. Let's head straight into battle. Ooh, a little bit more lead. That would have been it. Um, not sure if that was enemy. Uh, could have been. Could have also been teammate. But that Tizma is just killing himself. He's finally dead. Alright. Oh, there's a KV2. Rand. Rand here, but I hear an engine close. Got him. Get this guy who's close. At least try to. These bushes do not help, especially the ones behind. That's gonna be annoying. Get him. T forty four. Get him as well. And there's another one. No way. AS-57, I think? Is that right? So there's no RT over here. There's an AS-57. I'm sorry, little one. That was just not good timing for you to be here. Get that guy as well. Is that... That could have been RT right there, I'm not sure. No, that's probably just the fire. Someone is close. Right here. And he's dead. And anti yeah, as well. I am killing everything. Holy crap, this thing is OP. 
five seconds is almost killing King Tiger Gun. That is awesome. Somebody else as well. <sighs> Missed that. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Holy shit. So many. That guy's probably looking for me. Must be. Is that here? I need help for this guy. Someone close. Get that guy. Is this something? Is it dead AS57? What a team! That's enemy AA right there. He didn't notice anything. There we go. He's there as well. This part, this is this is nasty. I've absolutely zero, pretty much, depression angles. I'm doing all this. So far, no bombs. Holy shit! I should probably move, but kind of don't want to. That's an SMK. Poor soul. That is a test, my guy. Though, I don't know. Maybe not so poor. Maybe actually opposite. That guy can send one rocket at me and I'm I'm screwed. No. I hit him. No. No bombs. These good ones. Come on, anti -air. I don't have any anti -air. That is doing anti -air. Oh no. Poor me. Oh, he has bombs as well. He's not dropping them. And there he goes. I got the kill for that. <laughs> I forgot. I hit him. Holy shit. Alright, yep. I'm happy. As you can see, 11 kills. Um, almost a nuke in a f uh, close to stock flank 88. If there only were nukes here. Alright, well, it's finally a desert map. So we can actually use our camo. Which is, uh, I suppose, multi uh, camo. There's a desert one, I believe, but. Well, of course, I wouldn't have that. It's in the shadows, so this should be extra good. He's flying slow. Like he didn't have a propeller for a second. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Never mind, we got him. Two crew members. Holy shit, this isn't gonna be terrible. Look at that reload. I have lost everything. What did it cost you? Everything. Ship is still there. Yes. And I missed. Alright, well, there goes our opportunity. We still have a very powerful cannon. Now we get just more time to aim, I suppose. That's a T-34. And now he's dead. I cannot destroy this tree. Like, holy crap. This is dead, Sark. Wonderful. That hurt. Take this. Oh, never mind. You missed. Thanks, God. There we go. Got him. He damn exposing my driver. Or my gunner. And I 
only have four of each. Or my ammo. But I have plenty of that, right? It's not like... If they hit one of the 50 projectile, it's all gonna explode, right? It's dead. Sound like a 105 Sherman. Yeah, five kills. Not bad. Most of them were... Damn it, with these two crew members. There we go. It is insane how good this cannon is. This little barrier. But there is nothing here anymore. I'll push up very soon. Just that I can't really push up too quick. This thing doesn't want to go above like 15 kilometers in the sand. Let's see if we can do our anti air duty. I don't think we will, will be able to, but. Uh, would be cool. That would not be cool though. There's something over here. <gasps> I see this guy. That was the howitzer. And now he's not a house anymore. Oh, there he's dead. I got some anti air. And someone on Charlie now. Oh, he spotted me. Poor soul. Didn't know he could do that. Oh, That was the third one over there as well. Well done. Eight kills. How? <laughs> I had like two crew members since the second kill. Alright, we're getting kind of close. Should see some enemies here by now. Still none of them. This depression is just so terrible. It's unbelievable. Here's a Frenchie, and there he is not a Frenchie. There's a clean one tap on this side. There's some people around here. I do want to move away. Oh, there's a guy over here though. Little T-34 looking tank. Nope. French. Alright. Are we even facing Soviets? Yes, we are. Well, that is very dangerous. Especially if some of the Soviets are good enough to bring HE. Just keep going. We've been here for two kills. And any time, they could probably come back and try to get us. Some long-range engagements here already. Let's see if we can third wheel it. That is very close. That is basically just in front of us. Oh, that is one guy in front of us. One dead guy. Don't know what that was. Maybe another T-34. We're getting very close. For my comfort. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, he's gonna... Hurt us. Yep, two crew. That is not good. My targeting is damaged, so I do want to repair that. Let's first show our sides. Over here. Let's just hope there's no already calling us. That is a tank right there, and a KV. And he bounced that. Holy crap. We want to fix this. That medium tank scares me in the minimap. I need some protection right now. There we go. He's dead. T-44 doesn't see me. Maybe he does. Yeah, he does. Too late. Another guy over here, I think. Oh, no. Behind. Another T-44. Well done. Six kills. I'll take that. Well, just as I thought it was over, we had a backup, fortunately enough. Let's see if we can get that T-34. 
It did, in fact, shoot me with his machine guns first, so it makes me think he only had AP. Oh, crap. Don't hit my ammo. This depression is not good enough for this tiny little hill. Really gotta go. Oh well. He is shot. Can't see. He's buying that M10 wreck right there. I can see him. <sighs> there we go. Perfect. Very nice. Even though this is a uh, quite decent muscle velocity, I'm still a lot more used to a thousand meters a second at this battering. Uh, mainly because I play the Soviets. I mean, this is still good. It's a tank up here. I'm too slow to push you up, and he'll definitely see it or and hear me. Let's just let this uh, Dicamax hopefully get him. Please keep him. Uh... Oh. T 34 and his buddy. There we go, got one of them. SG-57, oh, poor man. Poor turtle. I'm sorry. But not sorry enough to spare you. This Panzer V is hiding, I'm probably gonna get shot. Don't know where that is from and what that is. But I'm going. I'm moving. Something over here? Let's hope I'm safe from that. Here's a Sherman. That I'm too late of. I don't have depression. Oh, not having depression and war thunder. This sounds... Too real to be true. He is weird enough looking around here. Maybe he spotted some bits of me? Um, I guess so? Well, he can be doing whatever he wants, I guess, for now. As long as it means I'm still alive. We must be good. Actually, we don't have much time. Nor tickets. Let's get this guy and see if I can... Maybe reach Bravo? There he is. I got shot. Damn it. You lucky T-34. I am tanking this. I am getting to that cap. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. So yeah, in conclusion, this vehicle was pretty fun sometimes. In other times, it was just painful. Yes, driving this vehicle in snow or desert is very slow. And even on urban maps, pretty much almost stock, this thing cannot go above 25 kilometers an hour. Or at least that's what my previous games told me. But what was definitely fun was the gun. Pretty much 5 second reload was a lot of fun. And I'm pretty used to vehicles having no armor. It's not a new thing to be afraid against 50 cows. If you get this thing in a good placement, somewhere you, where you can get side shots, or you just don't get detected in the first second, this thing can shred enemy teams. Especially on a good flank. But yeah, thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, all those things support me for pretty much free, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.